Hello everybody, it's Trevor Slescu at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, here's our most exciting racing night. I'm going to set up the 1966 Batman track as seen on the old TV show. Alright, here I am setting up the Batman track. I wear this thing because the grass mats are green. And I don't want my um, good Monster Hobby shirt getting all full of grass mat green garbage. Anyway, here is my progress so far. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like much. But I'm trying to figure out what direction the cars are going in. So I've seen the video on YouTube. And uh, this is what I'm going to be building. So I've got that loop kind of figured out. I've got to put in the elevations into it. That's a back loop. Got it all pegged with the uh, red clips going in this way and everything just to get that pretty decent. And yeah, so this is going to be one of the bigger tracks that I've ever built. And it should be quite fun. So I will get a picture, some more video when this is done. Stay tuned. Now, let's take a look at the track that I've reconstructed based on that episode. Okay, so here we are in Gotham City at our start-finish gate. Now this track is elevated. I use the Carrera boxes. And we have our start-finish gate and our controllers. So two pieces track from there. Three, four. And then we have a uh, 2-30 and a 1-30, I think. Anyway, whatever it is, it's it's a single. Straight, a straight, and a straight. And then we come around this big curve here. So 1-60, 1, 2, 3, 4 of those as we go through this oval. And it actually drops down in elevation, and now we go underneath the bridge here for one, two, there's three straights, and then we break the track, bend the track here again with a 2 30 and a 1 30, and then two straights. And I chose to put the change lanes under there, so one, two, three straights. And then we got a 180 degree curve, so three 1-60s. And then from there, I have to go way over. This is a big track. After the five minutes racing, we only had like 20 laps. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven straights under that big section. We've got two bridges under here. I use styrofoam blocks. They are about four inches tall. This goes under there. Then it comes around another another 180 degrees. So we've got the three 1-30s and we have six two da or three 1-60s and two six uh, whatever there, 2 30. I'm having troubles with this anyway. So there, and then one, two straights. I'm using the Carrera bridge, half of the bridge, just to get up because it comes up the elevation, and then two one quarters and a 90 degree. So three 2 30s, a 1 30, and a 1 60. And then we've got two straights, one, two, another 180 degree curve, two more straights, and I put a central forced cross in there, and another 90 degrees, so, and then two uh, one quarters, and then we just have a 1-60 and two 2-30s, two and then we go underneath another bridge into this big uh, helix type and we have one two two straights 
and then we start going up the curve here. So this is a full 360 degree. So you need to make one big circle. The bottom is on the table and the top is in the air and we're going up some elevations here. And then we've got two across and a, another one quarter and then a 90 degree actually more than a 90. It's 2-60 or 1-60 two times. That's what I'm trying to say. And two, uh, four 2-30s and then a straight and we're at a start finish gate again. So as you can tell this is a very very big track. Here's our step back for an overhead view. Yeah it's massive but it's not big and it's so big that it's uncontrollable. I have uh, the four 4x8 four tables set up in a rectangle. So you've got 16 feet that way, 8 feet that way. No extensions on the tables. And there is something I have to note here, um, just to make it a little easier on myself. I did this section just elevated and flat at 4 inches above the table level. On the real track, this curved section here actually goes straight across and it comes this way. And this one here drops down uh, and connects onto this side, so it makes another helix in here. But I, I didn't really have the right kind of straights to do that. And the other thing is, when this is a helix, it doesn't sit flat. This side is lower, and then it goes up or something and come, drops down. But that was a little too complicated for me to uh, get enough risers to do this properly. And there really isn't much supporting that curve out there. See, it, it, if you come around and look here, it's just suspended right off in midair. So here we are in Gotham City, ready to begin. We don't have a Batmobile, but we got the police, so should be good. Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon. Exactly. The Gotham City L uh, PD. Ah! <laughs> Man, look at this track. Woo! Oh. Yeah, we have a new driver in the league. His name is Dale. He's racing the red uh, La Ferrari. He used to race in the old days. So welcome back. <laughs> Whoop. There goes the, the police. All right. Every time you're off the track, Wrong way, Fred. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Just do a wonderful year. I guess I need to. All right. Lots of tunnels. Kevin's tail whipping and sliding the police car. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, right off. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So this is the recreation of the 1966 slot car track as seen on the Batman TV show. Adam West. And... Yeah, Adam West is Batman and Burt Ward. Wrong way. Yeah. Okay, I, I guess I owe you a couple cards here. <laughs>
Yeah, quite the layout. Okay, my five cars are out. You're out? So that means you're out of the race. Okay. So bring it around and catch it. Smokey and the bandit took out the, kill the car. car. <coughs> so there's two crosses under there. Oh, okay. And then there's uh, two there. Oops. No. Yeah, that, that big loop was a pain to set up. Looks like about a minute left, two minutes left. Fred and Josh. Yeah. What? It's only a little bit left on the clock. How many cars do you have, Josh? Four. Really? Yeah. I've been thinking. That's the only way to do it. Oh, Fred rolled her. Fred rolled the Porsche. That's a $30,000, $75,000 rollover, Fred. <laughs> There we go. So we got Josh first, Fred second, Kevin third, and Dale last. But to see how huge this track is, that's five minutes and 26 laps. Let's have a look at those standings after the first race on our Batman race course. So I got 31 points, Matt got 51, Devin at 62, Mark at 24, Kevin at 40, Fred at 43, our new member Dale is at 28 to start. Alan didn't show, and Josh is at 72, which in our standings puts me at six with 89 points. Matt in fourth with 114. Devin in second with 134. Mark in eighth place with 54 points. Kevin in fifth with 101. Fred in third with 123. Dale in ninth with 28. Alan in 7th with 79, and Josh in 1st with 157. So good job, guys. We'll see you next week when we race the Batman track again. Would you like to race with us on our wonderful slot car track? You know, if you do, just stop by Monster Hobbies. We're uh, running these race leagues every Wednesday night. Our address is Unit 42B, 11th Avenue, down in High River, Alberta, Canada. And we would really like more members. We are currently sitting at nine. If I get another, uh, let's see, three more. If I can get three more people racing on a slot car track, we would actually have 12 people and I could run two leagues simultaneously back to back. It's a lot of fun. The cost is not that bad when you consider all things. It's $77 Canadian for a digital car. But you're going to be playing every Wednesday night with a whole bunch of really great guys. And that's about the same price as if you were to buy like Halo 4 or something like that. But you're actually in a room with real living people instead of on the internet. Um, as fun as it is. But, you know, you can actually talk to somebody. Um, in person. Anyway, check us out. Come on down and we'll look forward to seeing you on a Wednesday night. See you later.